It's a terrible time to be a fisherman. Terrible time. Night time. Nowadays. People don't want boats anymore. I'm a dinosaur. I've wasted my life. Do you know what I do when I'm feeling sad like you, Jakey? I buy everybody in the pub a great big drink. I've been on my own for too long. All my life alone. Jake, when I am feeling sad or paranoid, I say to... or psychotic, I say to myself, I'll try this, well, at least I'm not Jake. <laughs> Jeff. At least I'm not Jeff. Jeff, can I buy Jake a drink, please? And you. What's going on upstairs? Oh, it's just some people. Two couples. Come back. Nice couple. Keep themselves to themselves. Oh, they're into swinging, like Jeff and Daphne. Well, in fact. No. Yep. They pack the kids off to weekend trapeze camp at Tintagel. Daphne turns up the heating. On goes the mucky video. Bowl of condoms on the coffee table. <laughs> How comes you know so much? You know Cornwall. You can't sit on someone's face in Liscard without somebody hearing about it in Padstow. <laughs> How are you off the firelighters? What about a shoe caddy? Shoes go in the compartments. Saddles, bomb, in. Slippers, bomb, in. Everyone in Pemp's got one, literally. No? Listen, about the swinging. Well, to tell the truth, Jeff asked me once. I said no, because I don't want to turn around and see the wife doing something wobbly with some salty snacks rep Jeff met at a brewery do. Yeah. Morning, Doug. Polly, we were just talking about Jeff. No, don't, because it'll kill her. Oh, go on, I love a bit of gossip. Right, Jeff. And Daphne, right? Into swinging. No way! Yeah. Remind me what that is. No, don't tell her. Right. They invite some other couples round, OK? And they all strip off, right, down to socks and thongs. They douse each other in disinfectant. There's a little bit of slurping and grunting. And then they have full intercourse. A packet of Maltesers and... So... I'm sorry, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, looking for the chap who hires out his boat. Jake? Is he not by his boat? No, no. It's funny, Holly vomiting like that, wasn't it? Mm. Always seen that in films, don't you? Oh, no, I've got my husband having an affair. Vomit. Vomit. Uh, meet some spiders. Vomit. Vomit. I've just lost my foot in a gory escalator accident. Vomit. Not joining in with that one. No. She's got a point, though. Horrible thought, isn't it? Swinging. Ghastly. Why do you think they call it swinging? I physically dread to think. So... Why hasn't Jeff invited us? Mm. <laughs> oh, PC Mr. February, wouldn't it? And this year's police calendar? Mr. March. Yes, Mr. March. Well, I'm afraid if you come to arrest Angela, she's escaped across the border into Devon. Yeah, scampered across just in time, in true Sound of Music style. Ah. So, what can I get for you? Shiny boots? 
bag of CS gas. I'll have a cornetto, please. Mike, just one? Yes, just one cornetto. <laughs> you allowed these on duty? Oh, yes. As long as we don't get it all round our mouth. I'd uh, better get back to the beach. There's been a problem with your boatman, Jake Trethowen. These clothes are washed up. They've been identified as belonging to Mr. Trethowen. <laughs> there are a bewildering number of possible explanations for this. Jake's an experienced boatman. He knows that sea inside out. And although he had been a bit depressed, I don't think we can read anything into that. Testicles in a flower pot. Milk lost on the bypass. Something to do with lizards. Well, don't blame me. You're the deaf one. <laughs> Angela? Orange juice, please, Jeff. I've just been over in the woods. It's very sensual in the woods. I've been mushrooming. <laughs> Fantastic. You can't eat them, they're poisonous. OK, put them in the bin, then. I hear you organise social evenings upstairs. Yes? Uh, well, we don't want to come, obviously, because we find that sort of thing all a bit repellent. But have you ever thought of inviting me and Mary? No. Uh, why not? Two women, isn't it? Throws the numbers out. Oh. You've got to have the same number of women and men, otherwise you look round and... Uh... You can't find what you need. Haven't you got any, um, spare men on a waiting list? Well, there's Sandy. Sandy? Well, that's not his real name. What's his real name? I can't tell you. Oh, so you've got special sort of swingers' names, have you? Yes, to maintain a distance between the home life and the, uh, shenanigans. Oh, what's yours? Jed. It's a bit like Jeff, isn't it? <laughs> Yes. And what's Daphne called? Pandora. Is it nice? It, is it a nice evening? Can be. So can I come then? What about Mary? I reckon she might be fun. No, no, I don't think so, to be I'll honest. I'll have a think about it. Decide between the two of you. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, just old Jake's gone off somewhere without telling anyone, silly arse. Yeah. He found some of his clothes on the beach. Yeah, he's mad as a news agent, isn't he, that one? <laughs> yeah. yeah, only old Jake would uh, take off his clothes to wash them, then get distracted somehow, so they float out to sea and he loses them. Yeah. 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 He'll be back, won't he, in an hour or two? Yeah. Whistling his favourite tune. Yeah. What is it? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That bit where his name was. Happy birthday to you. Well, he more than likely drowned himself, hadn't he? <laughs> Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds sing. 